Do you ever see something and say to yourself, I want that? Well, it turns out leather berets have been on my mind lately. So when I saw Rihanna on the cover of December Vogue rocking this badass leather beret with netting, I went cuckoo clock crazy. Turns out the designer is Dior. So way out of my price range. But you know how we do. If we see something that we think we can make, we make it. So in this video, I show you how. You're going to need to follow a pattern for this tutorial. No worries though, I found something pretty close we can follow. I ordered this online from Vogue Pattern Company. It's really cute and comes with about five different hat options. I chose option E and then just didn't put the brim on. If you need a list of all the tools and the materials that I use for this particular tutorial, you can find it down below in the description box. Here are all the things that you're going to need for this particular tutorial. Now, I'm going to be using leather, but you don't have to follow that. You can use um, a faux leather, ultra suede, tweed, or even a wool. You're going to need some thread, you're going to need some snaps, and a little bit of netting. Okay, so now let's talk about the modifications. There's not really a lot to this. It's actually pretty straightforward. So, so here I've got my pieces cut out. So 20, 21, 22, and 25. And so basically because I know that I'm going to be making several more styles of this, I put mine on oak tag paper. You guys can use either a poster board paper or manila folders or cardstock if you want. Um, I find that it's way easier to trace around this if it's a little firm as opposed to the light tissue paper because what you end up doing is trying to iron the paper so it's flat. Then you're taking some weights and putting it down. Then you're trying to gently go, you know, like who has time for that? Okay, like, you know, I don't have time for that. So I just take an extra step, put it on the paper, make sure that everything is squared and even, and then I use these. Okay, so let's go on with the rest of the video. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut out. And so basically when you're using leather, uh, the couple comments that I would say is I usually, what I usually do is I just mark off my seam allowance so that I know exactly where I'm going to be sewing. The other thing that I do is I always notch my pieces. And so I just take a little snip. I don't know if y'all can see that a little snip right there. Also, we want to notch piece number 21, which is the top. So you'll need notches for the front and the back and the sides. Step number three, sew leather pieces. Take crown number 20, two pieces, and stitch them together on the edges, right sides facing. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the top to the top edge of the crown. Really super easy. All you do is you match all of your notches, your side seams, and then you're going to go in with your binder clips and clip it all together. Step number four, sew the lining pieces. Same as before, stitch the crown lining, piece number 20, two pieces at the sides, right sides facing. Stitch the top, piece number 21, to the crown, piece number 20. Now, all you do is go in and trim the excess, then iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our beret and then we're going to take our lining, and, sorry, New York sounds <laughs> I'm going on outside. So we're going to drop that in there and we're going to take our um, seam allowances. I think you all can see that right there, seam allowances. And we are going to line those up with each other on the sides. So we're going to do that and then hold it with a binder clip it to the other side. Same thing. Find your clip. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clip, we're gonna clip this in there. 
So I'm going to go to the machine and I'm just going to do a, um, a stay stitch, so a really large stitch, just to hold these two pieces together so that they don't move around. And that'll probably be a quarter of an inch from the edge. Okay, so I'm going to do that. All right, so the next thing you do is you're gonna take your long strip, and then what you wanna do is you wanna use a little bit of glue. You can use barge, or you can fold that edge up and make what they call a clean edge. And then I'm gonna to go to the machine and I'm just gonna to top stitch along that edge. And while I'm at the machine, I'm then gonna bring those two ends together, together and then also stitch along the edge. up your sides, match up your notches in the front, and then just pull it a little bit um, to make sure that when you go to the machine everything is smooth, and then we can do our last stitch. Then once we get to the machine... Okay, so uh, getting down to the last step. So you sewed your edge on, and then now you're gonna flip it toward the inside. So mine is a slight modification than the one that's in the pattern that you guys have. Um, instead of having two pieces for this, I actually ended up making one because I didn't understand why you would need two pieces, but you know, for all intents and purposes, the pieces that the pattern provides work perfectly fine, and this step is basically the same. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this to the inside. The one that Rihanna has on, the, the space between her forehead and the edge is fairly narrow. So for me, I really like the look of that. I'm gonna make mine about 5 8 so what basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch as close as I can right along this edge, okay? And then what you're doing is you're sewing through all layers. And then what that does is it keeps your facing from flipping back and forth. You know, it's still kind of... And now for the extras. So for the veil, what makes this thing so cute is the veil. If you want this option, being able to take it on or off, you'll have to make it detachable. And this is easy, you can totally secure it down with a few small tiny snaps. And then gather with a pin so that you can kind of hold it in place. Now secure this with a few stitches and then add on the snaps. The snaps should be attached to the cap and also to the veil. Like super easy, you guys can totally do this. attached to our beret we put them on with snaps on either side and um, the netting so basically just to get the netting all you have to do is just put your cap on figure out how you want it to drape over your face which I did and then um, gather it up like I showed you and just sew it and add the snaps 
and that. And that's it. All right, party people, so that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for checking in with me, and thank you so much for taking this on. If you want to become a subscriber, please be sure that you do that. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, and you can stay up with all the content that I'm going to be posting on my channel. Until I see you next time, bye-bye.